He's a perfect person to kick the show off. So please welcome Mike Scolio. How are you guys doing? Yeah. All right. Uh, welcome to On Stage and In Focus. My name is Mike Scolio. Like Roz was telling you guys about Wizard of Oz 19 years ago, I was the first original musket of the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Let's intro the show. Theater is such a powerful art form, and everybody can do it. Theater, it, it lends itself to multiple intelligences. It doesn't matter if you got the disability or not, but everyone works together in the theater. I had a young man that I was very close to. He had cerebral palsy and he loved theater. He used to come to rehearsals with me and unfortunately he died a year ago and it was, it was quite traumatic for me. He had so much to offer and so much potential and, and it kind of propelled me and community theater into another place that now was the time to make something more proactive happen. In these next two minutes, you must introduce yourself to somebody that you have never met before and chat with them for a minute and find out who they are, someone you've never met before. When Mitchell came to me to discuss CTG and helping make it a more welcoming, accommodating, and inclusive place, I thought, wow, what a terrific opportunity. Theater, it really is an even playing field. So you have folks here who are wonderful dancers, others who can write poetry, and others who just love to get into a make-believe theatrical world. And that is so conducive to an inclusive setting. Michael, Michael's gonna be paired with Lindsay. Lavinia and Tori. We gave you a companion who we felt was artistic, supportive, you would connect and relate well to. Ultimately, working towards a performance piece that will be presented at our show. I wasn't sure how I would interact with everyone here because I haven't had a whole lot of exposure to diversity. You know, sometimes people feel uncomfortable when you're with somebody that uh, is different than you are. I've never really um, had the opportunity to work or even socialize very much with people with special needs, so I had, you know, a whole skewed view of them. I don't take it for granted that we all need a little assistance in how to be a good companion and a good friend. First point that I want to make is that this is an inclusive theater program. Another priority are positive interactions between people. It was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. It just wasn't a big deal. I feel that instead of me sharing with them, they shared with me. And they helped me to grow much more than I helped them. Something like this is something that like everyone should do at some point. Get to talk to people who are different than them and see that they're really not that different from them. My name is uh, Cameron, and uh, I would like, I've been working on my skit, and it's my partner, uh, Daniel, he's in the skit also. Uh, this, this particular tornado is so big, is because of the updraft wind building into it. Um, could you get that camera out of my face, please? <laughs> I have really been ex surprised that I can hack, since it's my first time, so. My name is... Great. This is my first time performing. I am playing a part as a woman. You're even lovelier than I imagined. You're short. <laughs> In 
the most fun part was going out to buy the, buy the makeup. The lipstick, I didn't know they came in so many colors. Oh my goodness, there's a tornado. I need to go inside. Oh, oh my gosh. It's been a pleasure to be part of this uh, CTG uh, inclusive family. You know, anybody can get on stage as long as you believe in yourself. We're one big family and we worked hard for it. Who are you? I'm a, you want. I'm a scarecrow. What's your name? Tarzan. And are you uh, in a costume right now? Yeah. What, who, who are you acting? I'm a scarecrow. Oh. From what show? Which is what? I said, your life went up. Put your last one down. Come on, let's keep moving. Don't you lose no ground. But the roads are walking all the time. This game was stopping and you beat us by. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to yourself. Listen to your rights because speak of, speak of yourself. So what do you think you're going to have to do to become an engineer one day? I had to go to college. <laughs> At the beginning of the program, we've had the opportunity to do the in-focus piece. We get to start with pictures, and from those photos, we get to share our voice. And all these stereotypes, labels, kind of get destroyed and just thrown to the side. I like to call that photo girly girl with a tomboy twist because, <laughs> because I play baseball and I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty, but at the same time I like paint, I paint my nails. I want to be an actor and direct some films and uh, this lot of things. It's like I was being funny because I want to be at Hollywood and I'm like you, I want to be at Broadway too. The In Focus process in inclusive theater has changed the way theater approaches communicating with the community. From the photographs, we were able to come up with themes for the theater. The first one is that friendship brings true joy to individuals. And I love making new friends like you. That theme, I think, was important to both John and I. He was talking to me about how social relationships are important to him because not only do they help and support him, but he gets to give back and help and support them as well. And I'm working on this skit about friendship with my partner. The second is that there's a great deal of pride and achievement. Our folks, like everyone, want to be proud of what they do. Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, that was beautiful. Beautiful. The third is changing perspectives. We want to transform the minds of the community so that everyone knows that everyone has value. And added value to the community is the fourth theme. They are out there volunteering in the community and completing some tasks that people often think they may not be capable of doing. I'm Eddie and uh, I've been setting up the stage for Mitchell and uh, Stuart here. And I got the responsibility to get everybody on stage where they need to be and what time to be there, get them in the dressing room, get the costumes off and put it on, get them back on stage. And uh, I mean, I, I love the responsibility. It's fun, but it's kind of nerve wracking, but I know I can do it. It's very important to me. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I have been working very closely with the ensemble. If I said down stage right. Perfect. You guys are awesome at this. This is really great. We're all people and we're all wanting to share something personal and especially with theater it gives people permission to stare and to look and to learn about something that might be uncomfortable or unfamiliar. I think you know your stage directions really well. It's awesome. It's just the message that everybody is the same and has um, the same goal. I am here doing the movement and dance portion. Arms up, step together, step, arms up, step.
everybody has difficulty sometimes expressing themselves and need to find an outlet to really get out what they feel and think. And I think it's important to explore all of those ways to express yourself. I've been working with these wonderful people here, helping them to understand about their voice and about music. In an ensemble, we have to pull together. We have to do these things together. And I think that's a good approach to use with people in general. Each night, both companion and artist go home and you write just a few sentences of reflecting, thinking about what happened today. Uh, something you discovered about yourself, something you discovered about theater. Ahem. <coughs> Look at me, they're so nervous. They're so nervous. I was in the community that I'm very smart and I, I learned a lot about the, a lot about the theater. I had fun yesterday. It was awesome. I love learning and I miss everyone after practice. <laughs> I had a lot of fun yesterday. Uh, I love doing, working on the skit with Daniel and doing the dancing with uh, Ashley and doing the acting with Courtney. Uh, I just feel like I need more confidence in the performance. I love how the theater often reflects the themes of life, like the importance of friendship or working to change someone's perspective. I love that the theater pushes me to just be me with all of my anxieties and frailties. It shows me that I am okay and that we all have a place where we belong. Sometimes we belong to more than one group, and that's even better. Now is the time to seize the day. It's been an amazing week and it will culminate in a performance where we hope not only it will be an awesome experience for the participants, but I think there's a strong message that we continue to need to get out. It's one thing to be an advocate, it's another thing to be a proactive partner in making sure everybody is included. Well, I feel like a lot of people are going to come in and just talk about like how sweet and cute it is that you know everybody's getting up there and performing together. But I just really hope that people don't look at it that way. Just see it as, hey, look, like they're talented and they can do all these things, and just see it as a good performance. Dear diary, I came up with this quote about a year ago, and it's been on my mind ever since. Small does not mean insignificant, naive does not mean stupid, quiet does not mean voiceless, and disabled does not mean helpless. You know, Stevie Wonder was blind, Beethoven was deaf, Helen Keller was both, and FDR was in a wheelchair. The whole world is at my feet. Now I've just got to find the ramp. <laughs> Some people say, I'm not smart enough, I'm not pretty enough, I don't walk well enough, I don't behave well enough, I don't talk well enough. You just have to put one foot in front of the other, spread your wings like a butterfly and fly away.
Now it's probably time we get out of here. I own my own gym. At least we're not a ball. What the hell? Be a friend. You don't need money. Just a disposition, son. Be a friend. You don't need glory. Friendship is a simple story. Red, black, or orange, yellow, or white. We all look the same when we turn off the light. I'm a scarecrow. You're a scarecrow? Yes, yeah. What do you want? I have a brain. You don't have a brain? No, not at all. <laughs> what is it you want? I have a brain. I want a heart. I want to go home. <laughs> let's go see the wizard. Black let's go see the wizard. wanted to do for a long time but have been hesitant because I wasn't sure how I would be treated because of my disability. But during these past two weeks I have become more confident in myself, in my performances, and in my community. That's how you win it. We will find a way. But let us seize the day. We each have our personal journey that we have to take. Until every man is free, you're not free. So until we make sure that in our lives, in our community, in our theater, that everybody, everybody, who has a passion for the performing arts, we find a way to make it happen for them. We are not doing our job, and we're not being humanitarians. Now is the time to seize the day. Stare down the odds and seize the day. I know that this will take advocacy and awareness to a new level. Like, I already know that. And it's not just about one kind of quote unquote disability, it's about all kinds and how we can all work together. And the time is right now. What I have just witnessed was this fabulous performance. For Tommy, this is a dream come true. Yeah, and it was marvelous. It was marvelous? Marvelous? Yeah. How'd you feel about the performance? A plus. A plus? I feel great. I think we really got a good show together. And I think everyone really enjoyed it. The audience was really into it. What enhanced it also was it came directly from them. That's amazing. You know, it wasn't something they were told to do. They just they said it from the heart. And we want that everybody understand that people with disability can have to be included in everywhere and be part of the community. I'm sad that it's over. I'm excited that I have a newfound sense of justice and rightness. And I'm excited to go out and share that with the community. I hope this is something that continues next year. I've, I've, I've already got my skit planned for next year, so.
See you.